So welcome to Bombshell Valentine Idea Help. Um, if you all tuned in to my videos, which I'm sure that you do, uh, one of the questions from my guy viewers, he wants to make this date jar, date idea jar, but he's needing help with ideas. He goes, okay, you know what? I'm sure she won't have any problems writing down ideas, but can you tell me some ideas that I could put on these little strips of paper in the date night idea jar that we want to make on Valentine's Day as a craft? And I said, well, absolutely, I can help you with that. Um, you know, now these are ideas that you're going to write down for future dates so that when you reach in, whether you grab one of her ideas or you grab one of your ideas, this is something that you can work together to have a, you know, fun dating month, whatever, how many ever you can come up with. I, I would like to see all of you set a, take 365 and divide it, okay? So that's how many ideas you have to come up with and that's how many ideas she's got to come up with. So that way you have a little bit of thought process. If it's the same thing that you write down twice, so what, so be it, at least it's an idea and you can put it in that jar and it, if you don't want to draw the same one, try and redraw something else. Make it fun and memorable, but most of all, take the time and effort in the relationship. So um, you could put on there, eat out at your f choice of restaurant, um, maybe a chocolate candy that you both like, uh, that one of you has to purchase the other. Um, a night of stargazing. Let's see. One hour of uninterrupted time. A romantic picnic for two anytime, anywhere. And let me see what else. I wrote some of these down to help you all out. So we need five more ideas that I'm going to give you on this. An evening of dancing. A session of truth or dare. One big bear hug. Uh, a night out on the town to, to the choice of whoever drew it out of the jar. If you take turns doing it too, I'm not, I thought about this, you could color the paper, like red is for your ideas and pink is for her ideas. And then, you know, like you say, okay, draw out a red one for my idea or draw out a pink one for your idea and make it fun, you know, um, get out of doing one household chore, one evening of listening to music that the person that you're involved in the relationship likes and maybe you don't like, but you won't complain. Um, <laughs> a shopping spree where you'll be patient and understanding while she shops. And maybe a get out of free doghouse ticket. So you will always have that there to get out of trouble just in case. There's your extra help. Um, we did have a dear bombshell that wanted to know, um, I, I wrote them all down here, so it might take me a while. I'm looking at my notes. If she should write a love letter to her Valentine and put it in with a special gift for him. You guys have been together for two years. I know that for a fact. Um, I know that, um, you're, you're young, so don't rush it. Okay. I would say, um, make it kind of a funny first day, uh, first Valentine's day together. Like write down what you first thought or felt, whether you met on the internet or in person, which you guys met on the internet and then met in person. So you have two different things you can write down but make it funny and witty and something that would bring a smile about to his face and keep it light. Don't be serious. Um, I got asked tonight if chocolate roses are better than regular roses. Um, 
I would say if you wanted to do that and she was understanding with that, then yes. But it, you don't necessarily have to go out there and break the bank to have Valentine's Day. Um, me, myself, and I uh, love to do artwork, you know. So if you like to do artwork, frame one of your, your favorite art pieces and have it ready to give to your Valentine. Also, you know, I've been on everybody about going to the Dollar Generals. This is the time to do it. Don't don't wait before it's too late. If you wait till February, you're waiting way too late, okay? Just telling you. They've got those little kiss and solar couples. They even have the little individual cat, dog, farm animals, kid you not, uh, little things that are adorable for a buck. Now, if you get the kissing couple, they're three fifty. but if you get the little individual ones, they're a buck. Um, they have at the Dollar Tree. I'm telling you, these are the places you need to hit so you're not breaking your bank. Um, I don't want anybody going out of their way to break their bank and then be like, why did I spend that much? Because it should be about the thought and not the expense. Now, if you're married, I'm not saying, you know, don't go out there and buy her favorite roses and all that stuff. All I'm saying is still have a spending limit. With, with When I went through my credit card counseling, the one thing they taught me was no matter if it's a holiday, a birthday, whatever, put a spending limit on it, and that way, you, you know, it's just the thought that counts more than going out and getting what they want. Because, it, you know, some people don't always appreciate the gift. They just use you for the gift, if you get what I'm saying. So, more or less... I know we're going into this holiday where we're trying to make our loved one feel like they're respected, that we trust them, that we love them, yada, yada, yada. But all of your questions boil down to this. You got to just put some thought process in how you want to celebrate the holiday. Um, a, a good one if you're married, write down in your Valentine's Day card a memory from your wedding day. And write it down, seal it, and give it to your honey on Valentine's Day. Um, you can always write down a list of compliments or things that you like best about your spouse or one you're dating. And that's a great way. I mean, heck, if you make a construction card, okay, which is homemade, yes, and some may not appreciate like they should, but even if you take the time and effort to do something like that, it means a lot more than a store card per se. Um, then lyrics to your song. Let's say some of you out there have a special song that you met when you were either first talking to one another or saying, hey, this is our song, you know. So write the lyrics down. Put that inside your Valentine's Day card. Um, why you couldn't live without the other one. Um, you know, I'm trying to help you all out here with that thing, ideas you can put in your Valentine's Day card. Um, people have asked me, are scavenger hunts good ideas for Valentine's Day? I would say it depends on how long y'all been dating. Obviously, if you just first met, new no. Scavenger hunts, bad idea. If you've been together a long time, absolutely. And you guys know each other's sense of humor, go for it. Um... But if you don't and you're scared to of what the other one's thinking, don't do it. <laughs> um, but something that I think would be a great thing, dinner at a restaurant that you both have never been at before. So it's a new experience for both of you. Remember that. Um, you, of course, go into the movies. Um, having a game night. Now, this one I think is really fun. You can have old games, new games, whatever kind of games. But maybe, you know, one of you have never played Scrabble before. Just saying. Don't take it so seriously. Or one of you have never played... Not, don't dare do Monopoly because, you know, that thing takes too long. But Uno, my favorite one is Bull. Play that game. Uh, you Definitely, I don't think you want to go fishing unless it's during the daytime. I don't know the weather yet, so I don't think that's a good thing. Horseback riding. Now, that's something I've never done, but I always wanted to do. Um, 
I don't think we have any local festivals around here, but if there was, that's always a good idea. Um, I really miss that indoor mini golfing that they used to have around here. I wish they still had that, but they don't. Um, doo -doo -doo. Of course, the indoor picnic, a movie on the living room floor. Well, now let me straighten that out. Watching a movie on the living room floor while, you know, watching the movie. You don't have to be all tangled up in each other. You know what I'm saying? Just giving you ideas. How about making a homemade dish together? Maybe it's something that you both have never made and you're like going, well, you know what? I'd like to try that. Talk it over with each other, get the recipe, and work together in the kitchen. That is fun and you both will have memories for years to come. Uh, putting together a puzzle. Uh, karaoke, of course. Uh, if you can get them to do a karaoke and be with you on your YouTube channel, then definitely go for it. Um, I know we have a zoo up in Decatur, but I don't know if they're open. I don't know if they're going to do anything special. Um, you can plan a beach day, but I don't really think that would do well. Oh, this is a good one go for ice cream. Now, if you're like me, I don't like ice cream, but they do have a yogurt place in town, and I love yogurt, and I've never been there. So I think that would be a fun thing for anybody to do. Um, let's see. I, I, this one I thought was a funny idea. Read a book together. And... <laughs> then discuss after you read a few pages. Now, that would kind of be funny for me because I love my romances, usually my cowboy romances. Sometimes I don't know what they mean by going out on the range and picking up this or that, but, you know, that would probably be a hoot. Plan your dream vacation. Go window shopping. Um... Uh, Go to a planetarium. If you're married, watch your own wedding video. This one is a really good advice. Volunteer at a local soup kitchen or a homeless shelter. Meet up at a local coffee shop, which I don't drink coffee. Uh, recreate your first date. That's always a good one. Um, play video games at home. Go to, go work out together. To me, that one would be it would be kind of comical because I have my own workout place here at the house. <laughs> I've got weights, but I've got to move my weights up. I've got to get six, seven, eight, nine, and ten pound weights because I want to reach up to ten pounds. And I have weights for both arms, only up to five pounds. So I need little dumbbell barbells for both arms starting at six pounds and working my way up. I thought I found those out at Marshall's but went out to Marshall's and they were not the ones that I thought they were. Kid you not. Uh, another doo -doo -doo. thing that you could put in your um, Of course, if you want to groom the dog together, yeah, that'd be some. Uh, vacuum the stairs, set the table. Yeah, you know, those are just some wild ideas. I have read your your questions. They Some of them are great. Oh, one thing I wanted to help you out on. Um, if you go to County Market right now, that's here in Mattoon, down the gift aisle, the same aisle that you went down for Christmas, okay? left hand side halfway down they have many games that you can get your man for $5.99 and they have a little mini dart board that's magnetic that they can play darts you know what man does not want to play darts then they have uh, tic-tac-toe and other things but for $5.99 you have a nice little side piece game there to go in with your games or whatever else you're going to get him and you know what? That's not bad either. To me, I think 
if you're just starting out, don't go spending a whole lot. It's not worth it. Now with me, I've got a dog and a cat. So I would not want flowers. Even though I love flowers and my allergies couldn't take flowers. Just saying. I would have to really be like, and don't do a whole lot of chocolate either. Unless it's Dove. Now if it's Dove dark chocolate, that's A-okay. Love that. I always have to give helpful ideas. <laughs> not that it'll happen in a million years because I'm pretty much given up on it, but it's, every year I miss hopeful and I keep a gift handy just in case. Um, <laughs> I get a good laugh out of it at least. Um, other than that, I, I hope that you all have a happy, healthy, wonderful Valentine's Day. Um, like I said, most of yours is all about communication. Um, I'll, this one girl contacted me and said she had some fears about her relationship with her man. She's seen on social media a picture that she didn't understand and she didn't know how to confront or talk to him about it. It's real easy. You don't accuse him off the bat because when you do and you start pointing fingers and laying blame, they're going to jump right back at you in anger and be a mean old grizzly bear and be like, okay, you think I'm doing that? Okay, I am. And that's the last thing you want. You just want to say, I'm curious. I seen this on your Facebook. Um, this party was lewdly dressed and there was some information on there about you two being together. And you know, but first you have to be in a serious relationship to ask that question. If you are almost to get or getting to know one another or almost together, it doesn't count. It's those last two that count getting serious and Mr. and Ms. So if you have already established that you're serious, then you have that boundary to ask that question. Hey, I'm just curious. And you don't want to say, why was that girl on your page? Why was she dressed that way? Why did you, you know, lay off. You don't have all the facts. So until you know the facts, you can't lay blame because it may just be somebody starting trouble knowing that you have Irish temper in your blood and you're going to start accusing and pointing fingers and laying blame. So as long as calm, collected, asking questions, you'll receive the answers back in that form. But the moment you start accusing, laying blame, pointing fingers, you're going to get not the answer you want. Just saying. Okay, so that's going to be all for tonight's versions of uh, Dear Valentine which it's not that long and I apologize, but I'm kind of tired. This has been an overwhelmingly stressful day. Um, th there was a good part to it, which I didn't share on my last video. Um, I got a sweater tonight at my favorite thrift store, which I, I'm a big thrift store shopping thing. That might be something you two could do together. Go to the thrift store together. And I think this is a cool idea. I had seen this a long time ago on Pinterest where, which yes, I'm on Pinterest. Uh, this couple goes on their uh, second date to the thrift store, buys an outfit for each other that they have to wear, not out of the store, but later on after, of course, it's washed. And and it can't. That's one only thing that you have to do is make sure everything's machine washable because you don't want no no dry clean stuff. And um, you get a, an outfit, an accessory, and something else. Uh, uh, you don't have to do shoes. Or, or socks there, but just get an outfit for the other uh, person that you're with and maybe a nice little um, puzzle or something for the guy to do and for the, for the guy to get the girl either a stuffed animal or something like a carousel horse, you know, a trinket or something that she can decorate with, then, you know, it's kind of a nice way to spend your time and you get to be just like having fun and not taking life so serious. Too many, too many times I read these questions that you all ask me. And trust me, from my years of dating experience, I can tell you this. If you keep a level head, you don't lay blame, point fingers, accuse, and you don't jump to conclusions, then you will have a successful relationship. But the moment 
that you jump to conclusions, assume the worst, and lay blame, it's going to go to hell in a handbag. So I hope that I can help others avoid the pitfalls that I have made along the way. And I have made them. And if there was ways I could take things back and do them over, who's to say that, you know, I, I would not still be single today, but I wouldn't be wondering what if so much. And I've been reading these romance novels lately where the girl is so scared and she's frightened because of her past or her histories with other relationships that's hurt her chances in future relationships, that it takes the guy to actually step up and be the guy that he should have been all along and be like, okay, you know what? That's them. That's not us. And there's a wonderful song by Michael Ray. He's a new and upcoming country music artist. It's calling Get to You or Getting to You or something like that. And it's a great song about how this girl is pretty much scared to love again and every time she gets close she bolts and it's just a wonderful song that I think every man needs to hear it's kinda like that one wedding movie that they play on Hallmark Channel where the dad even calls the girl bolt because every time she gets close to the, getting married she bolts kinda like that runaway bride thing you know but anyway I think that if you can work through the problems of your worst fears that you can overcome anything. You just can't be scared and you, you can't be frightened to share how you feel. And more importantly, even though you may share it with a friend and you're, you're confiding in them how you feel, be careful of who's listening because um, those people that listen who are not your friend may go out of their way to turn the story five ways from Sunday to hurt your chances at having a successful relationship. So I would say just take it slow. Every relationship is worth having if you sit down, listen, talk, and just don't jump to conclusions, lay blame, put the past other issues that you've had in other relationships on your current relationship make each other your own priority in life and open up and if you're scared or if you have any reasons to doubt how it would work because you come from two different backgrounds maybe it's your differences that draw you together because opposites attract Whew. Okay, that's enough for this one. We're going to do two songs, and they're next. You don't want